Okay, let's push onward. Okay, let's push onward. Understood. Sounds like the palace should be up that way. So we're finally sneaking in. The moment of truth. I'm getting anxious. Try to stay calm. If you don't, you'll make careless mistakes. Just consider it another day on the job. You're right. We can always count on Stock to keep his cool. Besides, those crow guys don't seem to be taking it too seriously either. Yeah. Those two might even be taking things a little too lightly. Hopefully they don't make any trouble for us up there. All right. Let's move. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Understood. to get through undetected. Forcing our way through isn't exactly an option. It wouldn't be wise to stir up any trouble at this point. Let's pull back. We need to reassess our situation. Hey! Sir! What should we do, Stock? That passage is crawling with guards, and we'll never get through unnoticed. It 
it's faint, but I sense the Chronicle's energy here as well. Then taking down those guards won't solve anything. Indeed, but it will be difficult to pass them without being discovered. Do you have an idea of how you will accomplish this? I do. Heiss is the key. He single-handedly created the SI. His espionage skills are unparalleled. He taught me the basics after I transferred from the army, but just the basics. He may know a skill that would be useful at a time like this. And again, I doubt he'd just up and teach it to me. Isn't it normal for an employer to give their subordinates the skills they need to succeed? He's anything but a normal employer. The more you struggle, the more he wants you to test your own limits. That's the high I know. I see. Then if you were not his subordinate, perhaps he would behave differently. The other timeline. You're right. I left Heiss in that history. If you cannot extract something from him due to your current relationship, alter the relationship, and perhaps you will have the chance. True enough. I'll give it a try. If there's an opportunity to run into Heiss in that timeline, that would be my chance. That's the spirit. You're growing quite accustomed to traversing history. Keep it up, Stock. Well then, until we meet again. Hey, Stock. Our briefing's over. Field Marshal Viola's assigned us a mission. Come with me. I'm about to inform the rest of the brigade. Okay. Let's go. Captain, shouldn't we join the battle as reinforcements? No, we can't do that. A losing battle isn't won by throwing manpower at it. Besides, if Field Marshal Viola was in danger, she'd be prudent enough to contact us. We need to stay the course and prioritize defending the Sand Fortress. Then it's settled. We should make our rounds to keep the men alert. Stock, you notice too? Yeah. Let's follow him. Captain, we're going after that renegade soldier! Hey! 
That wasn't one of my men. And the advance party should be well north of here in the Grand Plain. That means... Keel, come on! We need to join the pursuit! Understood! I want this entire floor on lockdown. Tighten security! We're going after them. You're in command here, soldier! Understood! Stock! We lost him. Seriously, he was going as fast as his legs could carry him. We were right behind you, so there's no way he doubled back into the fortress. C Captain! What happened? Y yes. Then the Diaz Knights were a decoy? Damn it! Set up the main defenses in the center of the fortress. We'll try to hold the north end where they're strongest, then deal with the ones inside. That man the sergeant saw must have been an enemy spy. They probably timed their strike with Field Marshal Viola's troops leaving for the plane. We can consider that later. Right now, our primary focus is defending this fortress. And to do that, we have to stop the enemy from getting in. Contact all the squad leaders. Have them send their men around. Go! Understood. We need to go, too. We have to drive them back, no matter what. Not over yet. Damn it, they're persistent. We can't let any of them get into the fortress. Our situation must have reached Field Marshal Viola by now. Uh, so, I'm sure she'll come back. We just have to hang in there a little while longer. Guess it pays to have optimistic subordinates. But Keel's right. That one's the commander. Take him down! I won't lose.
trick. I won't let you. were to defend the fortress. We can't abandon our post. Looks like we managed to defend the fortress. Now all we need is Viola's safe return. The enemy might still be nearby. Do not pursue if it means going too far out. Field Marshal, are you okay? I should be asking you the same. My subordinates helped us get through it in one piece. Good. You can tell me more once we get inside. It is thanks to you and your men that I can say that at all. You honor our country with your service. Now come. Enough! They're retreating. I prevented the explosions, and we got rid of the troops that got into the fortress. Hopefully, we avoided the worst-case scenario. Still, we can't relax yet. The moment I realized the troops in the Grand Plain were a decoy, I cursed my carelessness. But even amid such chaos, your men defended the fortress admirably. You are indeed the young lion of Alistair. I'm impressed. Your praise is an honor, but all I did was accomplish the mission. Diaz himself was commanding the enemy knights on the front line. But it seems that Count Selvon's troops were the ones given the covert sabotage operation. It was truly my mistake to have fallen for it. It's in the past. Had I been in your shoes, I would have marched on Diaz without a second thought. That was too large a prize to pass up. They would have stormed the fortress had it not been for your brigade. This must be the fruit of the Prophet Noah's guidance. To respond in kind, I will inform headquarters of this victory personally. Thank you very much, but please don't go out of your way to lavish praise upon us. <laughs> Indeed. The rumor mill can be truly dreadful. If talk were to put one of the dignitaries in a foul mood... Well, that's not what I was implying. Don't worry. I understand. Now please, take the rest of the day to recuperate. Starting tomorrow, I will need to rely on you yet again. Understood. You're free to go. Dismissed. I hope you'll reward the efforts of your subordinates. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your consideration. If you'll excuse me. Marshal may act like a hardliner, 
but she's just a softy underneath. Well, then this calls for a toast to the young lions of Alistel. Oh, come on. Can you cool it with the young lions thing? Sorry, but even Field Marshal Viola's troops have caught on. If she's the Valkyrie, then Captain Rosh and Sergeant Stock are the young lions. And for the record, I think it's very fitting. I'm just happy to fight under such amazing leadership. Young lions, huh? I think it's got a nice ring to it. Why can't you two just accept praise and move on? Doesn't it feel good every once in a while? It's thanks to you two that we came out alive. A toast to our officers. <sighs> okay, okay. Just don't let it get out of hand, guys. Everyone! What's the matter, Keel? Field Marshal Viola and the Captain would like to have a word with you in the hall. All right. We'll head right over. Ah, oh, there you are. I know this is going to sound sudden, but I've been ordered to return to Alistel. Well, that is rather sudden, considering we were just sent here. Just you, though, Captain? Yeah, looks that way. I reported your remarkable service in the fort's defense to headquarters. It seems General Hugo was quite moved. My understanding is that they plan to celebrate your victory with some pomp and circumstance. But why single me out? The entire brigade performed admirably. And we never would have succeeded were it not for Stock. Rosh. Yeah? What's up, Stock? Do you remember our conversation from the other day? Oh, that. I can't rule out the possibility that Hugo is scheming something. You're right. I'll be careful. That reminds me. You should come along too, Keo. Me? But I'm practically still a new recruit, Captain. I believe Sergeant Stock should go instead. Come on, use your head. If he comes with me, who's going to look after the men that are still stationed here? Oh, true. Go on. You shouldn't argue with the Captain's orders. That's right, Keel. Someone needs to pick up that medal in Stock's stead. Understood. I'll perform my duty as the Sergeant stand-in to the best of my ability. It looks like everything's been taken care of, then. Don't worry about your men. I'll look after them, too. I'm sure the sergeant would appreciate any help he can get. Thank you for your consideration, Field Marshal Viola. Don't mention it. Anything for the young Lion of Alistel. I'd appreciate if you didn't call me that. <laughs> I was just teasing. No, you should depart immediately for Alistel. Hold your head up high and stand proud to the public. Yes, ma'am. Well then, we'll head out. Keel. Uh, is something wrong, Sergeant Stock? I want you to be cautious around General Hugo. Don't let Rosh out of your sight. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? It's possible Hugo may have it out for us. But... How could he? Sergeant, you, you shouldn't say things like that. Hmm. Uh, understood. I don't see the big picture, but I'll be vigilant. And I'll stay right by the captain's side. I'm counting on you. It seems the mass production of Thaw Machines is going smoothly. And the Divine Judgment? It's coming along. Or it would be, at least, except for one thing. Which is... I'm not making sculptures to be displayed in the square, you know? The worst fate for men like me is to settle for our creations never seeing any use. How much longer 
Or are you going to force me to go on like this? Who knows? I recall you once saying you'd be happy as long as you could continue your research. Uh, that's not the point! If that isn't the point, Fennel, I advise you to stop trying our patience and get on with it. Fine, fine. I'll just ask. Why won't you send my Thor machines into the front lines? I keep hearing they're being held in reserve for your own personal troops. If this goes on, they may as well be statues. Army policy must consider the grand scheme of things. Stop! Enough! That's not what I want to hear. I've barely had a scrap of useful combat data for several months. I demand more. What I mean is... Now is not the time to focus on manufacturing these things. And what will you do when the mass-produced models have a critical flaw? Theory isn't practice. A weapon isn't truly usable until there's data that supports it. Mechanical improvements made little by little. That's what will create the perfect weapon. And for that, I need data, raw data, as much as I can get. <laughs> you're truly a difficult one to please. No wonder you're the most celebrated Thaumatech engineer in Vancouver. General, I came here for one reason. I was told that I'd be able to do all the research I pleased. If my work is going to continue to be held back by the military's big-headedness... Hmm. What do you want me to do? I've been telling you, I want data. I'm not picky. Can't you dispatch a large force soon? A typically troublesome demand. But is it really? Our skirmish at the Sand Fortress didn't go as planned, but it could be considered an opportunity. Are you saying to take our losses in stride and keep pressing the front line forward? Yes, exactly. Then we can give Fennel here what he wants. And if you play your cards right, General Hugo, you can achieve some of your own dreams. Or are you still going to claim that there's a reason to draw out the war? There's nothing for it, then. I'll have to go with that. We'll have Rosh's brigade make the first move and deploy four Thaw machines to the fortress. <laughs> Lord! Um, that would be excellent. I must hurry and make the necessary preparations. Oh. Date. The beautiful crystals of promise and potential. <laughs> You've returned, Stock. You did a good job finding the bomb set up by Granorg, but a new threat, unlike anything you've encountered thus far, draws near. Please be careful, Stock. Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? <laughs>